Good day everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video, ang topic natin ay Probability of Dependent and Independent Events Sa dalawang nakaraan kong video ay na-discuss ko ang dependent at independent events pero magkahiwalay sila ng video Dito ay tatalakayin ko sila na magkasama upang malaman natin kung ano rin yung ano nila, pinagkaiba Definitions Independent Events The event has no effect on the probability of another event occurring. Halimbawa, yung unang event, pag nangyari yun, yung pangalawa, hindi maapektuhan. Sa dependent naman ay, kapag nangyari yung unang event, maapektuhan yung pangalawa. Ayun, the event has effect on the probability of another event occurring. As ang formula natin ay, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. Okay, illustrative example. Para maano natin, mas malaman natin pinagkakaiba nila, ay mag-example tayo. A bag consists of balls with different colors. 5 red, 6 blue, 7 white, and 7 green. What is the probability of getting problem A, white ball at the first try, and then a green ball on the second try with replacement? Ang ibig sabihin ng with replacement, kapag kakuha mo ng bola, Ibabalik mo rin. Tapos, dahil kinuha mo at binalik mo, yung sample space mo ay parehas lang din sa dalawang event. Kaya, independent. Kasi, hindi maapektuhan yung pangalawa. Problem B. Red ball at the first try and then a blue ball on the second try without replacement. Without replacement, kapag pag, pagkakuha mo ng bola, hindi mo na ibabalik. Kaya, kaya maapektuhan yung pangalawa. Tapos, siya ay magiging dependent event. Ayan, nilagay ko sa parenthesis. Solution for A. Probability of white is equal to 7 over 25. Kapag pinag plus mo lahat ng bola na nasa loob ng bag, 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7 ay 25. Tapos ang given na value ng white ay 7. E di 7 over 25. Tapos wala na siyang lowest term. Tapos pagkakuha mo ng bola, binalik mo ulit. Kaya 25 pa rin yung sample space mo. Which is ay nga, 25. Tapos, ang given sa green ay 7. Bali, 7 over 25. Use the formula. Yung A natin ay white. Tapos, yung B natin ay green. Probability of white and green is equal to 7 over 25 times 7 over 25. Which is equal to 49 over 625. Therefore, the probability of getting white and green ball is 49 over 625 or 7.8%. Ito ay example ng independent event. Kasi tignan nyo, parehas lang din yung sample space ng dalawang event. Solution for B. Probability of red is equal to 5. Kasi ang given na bilang ng red ay 5. Tapos, ang sample space ay 25, yung total. 5 over 25, magiging 1 fifth kapag ni lowest term. Yan, kumuha ka ng bola. Tapos, sa pangalawang pagkakataon, hindi mo na ibabalik. Kaya, yung 25 na total, naging 24 na lang kasi nabawasan ng isa. Tapos, ayan, ang given na blue ay 6. 6 over 24 kapag ni lowest term ay 1 Use the formula. Tapos yung A natin ay itong red. Tapos yung B natin ay yung blue. Probability of red and blue is equal to 1 fifth times 1 fourth is equal to 100 ay 1 over 20. Therefore, the probability of getting red and blue ball is 1 over 20 or 5%. Ito ay example ng dependent events. Kasi yung unang event Ayan, 25, yung total na sample space. Tapos, without replacement, naka-apekto siya sa pangalawa. naka sa sample space ng pangalawa. Kaya siya ay dependent. Okay, thank you for watching. Sana may natutuhan kayo sa akin. Please like, share, and subscribe for more math video tutorials. May mga nagawa na akong ibang chapter, permutations and combinations. Tapos, Circles at kung gusto nyo panoorin ay ilalagay ko ang link sa my description at meron din akong mga 
tips sa technology at kung gusto nyo rin panoorin ay lalagay ko rin. Hanggang dito na lang, paalam!